Welcome back, everyone, to the OS World Cup 2021 round of 32. We had a pretty solid start to the round with Korea versus Ukraine. It was a 5 0 for the higher seeded team in Korea, but we are now on to our next matchup. It is Hong Kong versus Turkey. These two teams, both relatively close in seeding, seed number 12 in Hong Kong versus seed number 21 in Turkey, and with some very solid players on both rosters. This looks to be an exciting one. My name is Dio. I was on the previous matchup alongside Doomsday, but I am joined by a different commentator this time around, and actually one of the organizers of the tournament this year, Mr. Chillier Pear. How's it going this morning? Oh, good morning, Dio. It is a fantastic day for matches, as usual. We've got a good one for us this morning. We had a, a solid start to the day. We saw South Korea, one of our stronger teams in the tournament, showing uh, their dominance over the Ukraine, who had a very good match. A couple unfortunate points uh, lost there that they could have picked up, but nonetheless, a good start this year. But Hong Kong Turkey... I think this is a matchup that uh, highly anticipated for a lot of people watching this year. We have a vastly different Hong Kong roster uh, compared to previous years in terms of the names we're seeing here. And Turkey, a roster I think that has gotten significantly stronger over the years from just two years ago, barely qualifying in that 32nd seeded spot, now forcing their way all the way up to that 21st seeded spot. And that's alongside, I think, what a lot of people who are familiar with these players would call an underperformance from some of their other members. So I, I think it's even I think it's even viable to say that this team is better than what they performed as in <laughs> qualifiers. So this is a this is a deceptively strong team Turkey right now. They have some really incredible members on particular picks. There are decidedly some weaknesses for this team Turkey, notably their runs on the hidden maps in qualifiers were not super solid, but the same can honestly be said a little bit for this Hong Kong roster. Had some uh, subpar runs on the hidden maps in qualifiers compared to the rest of the modifications in that pool. So I, I think both of these teams' skill sets mirroring each other a little bit. Definitely, however, much better for Hong Kong on those control-focused maps, things like the tech pick or the alt map. In qualifiers, they have a decisive advantage on, but very, very strong double time performance for both of these teams, very strong hard rock performance for both of these teams, and very strong Nomad 1 performance for both of these teams. Definitely a solid ban out from Turkey, however. Uh, Hong Kong in the qualifiers with an extremely strong performance on hard rock 1. They actually had one of the best scores on that map, number four overall on Hard Rock 1 for Hong Kong, and an early DT2 ban coming out of Hong Kong as well. Turkey with an extremely solid DT2 running qualifiers. Uh, very strong indeed. Some smart bans starting off from these two teams. I think we have enough experience here for them to be able to open up these early stage matches with some confident uh, picks and bans here. Of course, that Hard Rock 1 from Turkey, not surprising. Hong Kong is a very solid consistency-oriented team with their roster, despite the changes that we mentioned. I mean, you know, you look at Hong Kong this year, they're missing a lot of those flagship players. You're missing Chaos Litz now, you're missing Denier Nezar, you're missing Saku, Hibiki, and iReady all from last year. But they do have some useful changes to the roster this year. Uh, Minecraft 570, MCY4, RLSC Tira, and Muji all taking some spots on this roster. So a lot of that, uh, you know, uh, tried and true Hong Kong player base coming out here. That strong early stage. Raikaho gonna be picking the Nomad 2 to start for Turkey. A strong stream team, and that is an understatement for Turkey. Now we know Raikaho, um, the top performing player uh, over qualifiers as a whole, I believe. And uh, hey, Roni. The backing player on Turkey, I think, for many years now, Raikaho has has um, is going to be one of his stronger skill sets in this. So Turkey is going to try and open it up with a uh, guaranteed pick for themselves, hopefully. Yeah, it's it's interesting looking at Turkey's qualifier run on this because I, I think 
During run two, Hey Roni probably joined them when he was not warmed up, usually a very good stream player, did not have a solid performance on Nomad 2 in qualifiers, and so despite that run getting them 2.6 million team score, it was off the back of a full combo from Zephyrex, off a 750k from Raikaho on Nomad 2 in qualifiers, and a 660k from Misumena. So this roster now, where I assume Hey Roni has a proper warm up against this Hong Kong team, is very scary on Nomad 2, especially when Hong Kong, that was probably the weakest map that they had actually in the Nomad. Uh, almost their weakest map overall. The only map that they had a lower score on was Hidden 2 in the qualifiers. So very, very solid pick for Turkey. This is uh, very clearly a well-researched pick both for their own skill set and for the opposing teams. Uh, they should not have any problems closing this one out. Shirafa Yuki, RLSC, MTY4 going in for Hong Kong on this one. Not super surprising there. You expect to see either A21 or Dragbit 3 come in to round out the roster on this one. It's actually going to be Minecraft 570. That's a little interesting to me. He's definitely Jeez. not who I think of when I think of stamina players. Very solid gimmick and reading player. Oh, oh okay. Never oh, mind. oh, there you go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Hong Kong has blundered. There we go. <laughs> Oh, that makes a lot more sense there, I yeah. guess. I mean, yeah, Minecraft, not not half bad at these early stage Nomad 2s, but yeah, 3 minutes and 35 seconds of stamina, you know, streaming is is not exactly where he, um, I'm going to say his his top skill set lies, but he's sitting comfortably here. Um, so both rosters right now actually running with two brand new players on the roster. We have RLSC and MCY4 for Hong Kong and Misumina and Zephyrex for Team Turkey. So I'm very interested to see how these four new players perform compared to uh, the the veterans on either side. I guess Raikaho as well, actually. Was Raikaho not on their roster last I, year? I'm trying, I think, I think he, I think he was last year, but I feel like he seems newer, which is weird. <laughs> I, would, I would have to assume he was. He's definitely he was had last his year. breakout year in yeah. 2021 in terms of community tournaments, so. I, kind of new in the community conscious right now for Raikaho, but yeah, Ross, uh, player left over from last year. Ross is definitely far better this year than he has ever been in the past. You know, I'm looking to uh, Misumina, or Misumina and Zephyrex to go ahead and get us started there. Again, this roster for Turkey, very, very solid on the qualifiers. No mod to even despite Heyroni having a bad run. But very clearly not having the same type of run this day for Hey Roni. It's still on the SS out of the gate. RLSC with a really early break. Probably not going to impact too much, but it does betray maybe a little bit of first map jitters or a little discomfort on the thing. Well, some early round jitters is something I guess you can expect, especially when you got half the uh, rosters for your team being newer players. Granted, nobody in this lobby uh, I think is new to tournaments in general, but. I think, you know, when you're on the stage like OWC, even more experienced tournament players can start to feel the nerves here. Even these early round matchups, you want to maintain this winner's bracket position as long as you possibly can. And RLSC, unfortunately, is not going to be making a good start for Hong Kong here. He's going to time that first major break for them. And Turkey is going to continue to just run through their opening pick here. High accuracy all around for both teams. It's just RLSC that's had that trouble. Yeah, Turkey's dropped a total of uh, five 100s so far, looking very solid. Oh, there's a six 100 drop from Misumena, uh, but overall very solid. As I say that, though, Hey Roni drops on one of the lower sections in this map, one of the more aim-focused parts of the streams. RLSC drops once again, however, really not having a solid time with this pick for RLSC. Three full combos to three now, however, Turkey not as decisively in the lead as they were about a minute ago, but there goes Shiraha Yuki dropping the full combo as well for Hong Kong. It's MTY4 and Dragbit 3 holding on at the moment for the Hong Kong squad, but Raikaho, Misumena, and Zephyrex all looking very, very solid right now for Turkey. Turkey, they know what they can do. They know what their strong suits are. This Nomad 2 was a confident first pick from Raikaho. Uh, I guess they exactly, you know, they came out of qualifiers and despite having maybe a little bit of an underperformance, they are going to stay true to what they know that they're good at. And this Nomad 2 is certainly sitting comfortably with them. RLSC going to find one more break and there goes MCY and that's going to do it for this map here. Less than a quarter of it left here. Zephyrx is going to find a break, but those two FCs holding strong with Hey Roni recovering perfectly from this. 
That is far out of time. It's a little bit more aim-oriented on the Nomad 2 this year, might I add as well. So you see some uh, spacing increases. You, you got that variability here at that. Uh, you know, we haven't necessarily seen as much in previous years. And, you know, when you get the flow in like this transitioning, it's going to be a little bit more difficult for some of those players that are more just stamina-oriented. Dragbit's going to drop that last FC for Hong Kong, and that's going to do it for that first pick. And like you said, we actually saw most of the breaks in this map where that flow aim was at its peak around the middle of the pick, where you've got, you know, all of this ridiculous flow aim going on, but really solid per first pick for Turkey. The full combo from Raikaho, less than 10 100s. Single digit 100 count also for Misumina, who had only six 100s dropped, actually, and missing a slider break for them, but otherwise extremely solid play from Turkey all around, all of their members with really high scores. And that's that's what you need in round of 32. You need that overall high team score in order to win those picks. So not any surprise that the first pick goes that well for either of these teams. And it looks like we've got our first pick for Hong Kong. Now hidden one. This map actually banned out in the previous round. So happy to see this one get picked. This is going to be a good one to finally see out here, but I, I think if there was anything that we were expecting to see out of Hong Kong in this uh, opening round here, I, I would say that Hidden One probably fits the docket to the exact level that they're looking for here. Um, last pick going, you know, not too bad for Hong Kong, regardless of the breaks that we saw. Uh, it was only about a 540,000 point difference, which is definitely sizable, but when you're in a 4v4 tournament in an early stage, um, you know, that that lead can very quickly disappear with, you know, just one or two breaks on the side. So Team Turkey taking that uh, confident first pick, I think, with their overall team performance. But Hong Kong not too far behind. So they have uh, full availability here from their roster and all their skill sets to just grab their first pick right here. We're seeing a couple of roster switches for both teams right now. Not too much in terms of Hong Kong. You have A21 coming in, which I don't think is a surprise to anyone uh, for a hidden one pick. And then Turkey, going to make a couple of changes here. We have Chemist and Shinkiro coming in for this beginning one. did go over the maps beforehand, but remind me a little bit, this map is relatively control focused compared to the hidden one in qualifiers, if I'm remembering correctly. A little bit more finger control in this map, a little bit more flowing from some of the bursts in this map as well, if I remember correctly. So uh, it's a little bit trickier than the hidden one from qualifiers, I believe. Yeah, this is more, um, I don't think technically intensive is the word, but I think that that might be what I'm going to have to roll with here. It's it's less standardized than what you would expect from um, the consistency-based hidden one more of uh, qualifiers here. And I think we're looking for, you know, uh, that classic style of, of keking mapping here that I think so many people have come to expect and notice when you play tournaments but I don't think we're going to deviate from that too much here. Another roster switch for Turkey before we started the map as well. Uh, Eggman Viserm's coming back in once again. I think he's, he makes his return year after year for the uh, Turkey team. Let's see what happens on the start of the hidden one here. I'm not going to expect too many... Uh, breaks in the early parts of this map. We generally like to ease into this. We'll start to get some double patterns here. Shinkiro is going to mess up one of these early ones. There are slight overlaps here. It's nothing major, but um, I think if you're not ready for them, these overlaps can catch you off guard just a little bit. And I think Shinkiro is kind of showing that to us if you're not quite ready for it at the beginning. But everyone else holding strong. Let's see. Not quite technically intensive, but not quite standard either. A little more control focused, a little more reading focused on the pick. And that is the difference maker for these two teams. Hong Kong, most definitely a solid control focused, reading focused team. Very good on the tech picks as well in any modification, really. 
Uh, so this type of map in Hidden One is definitely right up their alley. You can see the accuracy reflecting that SS still for A21, Drag the 3 and MCY4 on 1-100 full combos, Shiraha Yuki with a 2-100 full combo at the moment, and there's another couple of misses coming through for Turkey, both Chemist and Zephyrex finding those drops in this first PI time. Egg Member Serms as well dropping down. Drag the 3 trades one of those misses for Hong Kong, but it is three full combos to none right now, and this is what you want to see from the higher seed of team. Never mind, A21 drops down, but it's still it's still two full combos to not right now. And that is that is more than enough for this Hong Kong team to build up a substantial score lead already over 500 k in the lead. Good performance from them again. We saw something similar uh, on the last map, a strong performance from Hong Kong at the beginning, but they just had a couple extra breaks in that middle Kiai time than what Turkey had, and I think we're just seeing the opposite of that right now. You have that last break right there from MCY4, but Shiraha Yuki is gonna be able to hold this one down for Hong Kong with the size of believe that they have. Uh, you know, they might be able to advance this to 1 million plus by the ending of the map here. Um, it's gonna be rather close. I think they're just gonna do it right here on the spinner. So very, very strong team performance from Hong Kong on this opening pick. It's just over 3.2 million on a team score. Now, that is actually very impressive, even for um, an opening round of 32 matchup. And uh, A21, actually, despite having that SS for the longest in the lobby, is actually going to be putting up the second lowest score on the Hong Kong team for this map. Sometimes that's just how it is. You miss right in the middle of the pick, and suddenly your score gets cut right in half. Drag but three, missing pretty much exactly in the middle of the map, and that's why those scores are so close. But uh, unfortunately, nobody on Team Turkey, despite the slider breaks coming through from Zephyrex and Agmembasurms, able to hold on to the combo long enough to really contest Hong Kong in any significant way. Those two full combos from Shirahayuki, or one full combo from Shirahayuki, and really high 860k from MCY4, only one miss on that score, uh, doing more than enough work. Like you said, Chile, you're above a million team score in the difference for those two. So very, very dominant first pick from actually both of these teams, uh, but even more so from Hong Kong, man. That was a really solid performance <laughs> on that pick. Turkey with the second pick, though, no mod five, I think bodes pretty well for them. We saw DT2 get banned out. Well, that map is only eight BPM higher than no mod five, and the structure is very similar for these two picks. Uh, nostalgic Blood of the Stripe by Lar, not by Zelt. Uh, very, very burst heavy sort of map. Lots of consecutive bursts in this map, consecutive triples all over the place. Nothing really above nine notes, if I'm remembering correctly, so no long streams in this pick, but more so the emphasis on can you burst 240 BPM consistently. Your real speed players are not going to struggle too much with this one, but your fill players early on are maybe going to have a little bit of trouble keeping up with some of the patterns in this map. Uh, so it's another one of those like early stage no mod 5 moments here where it's not too stamina heavy but the bursts are really there and prominent which is kind of the best way that you're going to be able to test this early round no mod 5 here but um you know it's kind of funny to see turkey picking this into hong kong i think in previous years picking this into hong kong would have generally not been a very good idea uh, given their roster but it's very interesting that turkey thinks that you know they have the skill set they have the players in that roster to uh, make it enough to take it on this one they were very confident on their first pick i don't imagine they're going to be much less confident on this one i think anything for them where they can kind of get that you know raikaho combo in is going to be massively useful for them in these early stages here and as long as they can find picks like that i think they're going to be able to trade this back and forth for uh, quite a while I think, it, I think it helps a lot that turkey can sort of directly compare the double time two scores from qualifiers for both of these teams Turkey's run on DC2 in qualifiers was just absolutely fantastic. I mean, 3.9 million team score. They had one of the best scores out of any team to play the qualifiers. I believe they were number 13 on the map overall. 
Uh, Hong Kong at 3.1 million team score, definitely struggling a little bit more. Granted, that DT2 pick and qualifier is a little bit more finger control focus, uh, a little bit less burst oriented than this Nomad 5 pick, but it definitely bodes well, especially with that DT2 ban out of Hong Kong. And this is an interesting roster to have. Shiraha Yuki, Arla C, MCY4, and Minecraft 570 in for this one for Hong Kong. So we're gonna see how these new members can stack up for the Hong Kong roster. Oh, I am uh, very excited to see it. I think all the new players looked very good um, on the, the, their first starting maps here in the first two picks, and I don't think it's going to change too much on this. Again, No Mod 5, not generally uh, a technically intensive map, a lot of mechanics here, but some early breaks from Eggman and Raikaho at the start of this No Mod 5. It's not going to mean too much, but it is going to be an early start that Hong Kong is going to need to offset that accuracy from Minecraft 570 right now. But I guess there's overall accuracy drops uh, on Turkey for the most part here. Um, Kemst and Eggman Berserms Raikoho, all of them with lower accuracy. Eggman and Raikoho, we can chalk up to those uh, early breaks that they found. Zephyrx going to be holding the highest accuracy here until that 100 drop there. It's going to be MCY with the double S. But Hong Kong again showing us they're really strong on those accuracy um, maps, especially something like a Nomad 5, more conventional patterning. Um, you know, it's less finger control, less aim control. It's more just that base mechanics, and that's something that Hong Kong is generally very, very good at. And they're going to show that through the accuracy like they do time and time again. We're going to see it continually raise on Eggman and Raikaho as we uh, continue slowly working our way through the map, but surely. Uh, well, slowly but surely. We do see uh, Member Sons having a little trouble connecting to everything, but... It honestly doesn't matter all that much. We still got four full combos on the Hong Kong squad. So even if we do see uh, disconnection issues for either team. Oh, there we go. Ooh, for oh, Eggman. Okay. Uh, he's going oh. to be playing catch up a little bit, I suppose. But uh, this is the early squad for Hong Kong. RLSC actually finding a miss halfway through the map, finding that slider break. But uh, this is a really solid early score for Hong Kong. And so we're now dropping down as well. Shiraha Yuki and Minecraft 570 now left alone. The two lower accuracy members able to hold on to the combo instead of those higher act plays from MCY4 and RLSC. But on the other side for Turkey, there's just not the combo to contest those two FCs. It's only Rekaho holding on. Chemist and Zephyrex have found misses. And even with that miss from Shiraha Yuki, there's just not supporting combo. Now gone for Minecraft, Minecraft 570 as well. But look at the score difference, 600k in the favor of Hong Kong. It's going to be more than enough. Yeah, unfortunately, Eggman with the breaks that he found in the positions that they were at is just simply not going to be enough to drag this back. He would need over 800,000 as his total score for that to happen. And he found that early break as well as another one in the middle, which is just enough to push him out of that zone. Unfortunately enough, he looks very confident on this 99% accuracy going to be bringing it into the finish. But... <laughs> Not quite the performance he wanted on this map today. Raikoho as well with that very early break. A 200,000 point difference from him uh, could have actually made a bit of a difference there as well. There was just those little things that make that small difference in these round of 32 stages. These maps not quite difficult enough um, to catch, you know, multiple players normally. But on something like this, having at least one FC or something close to it is... You know, generally the difference between winning and losing that map, and Turkey unfortunately going to let that first break point slip up, so Hong Kong is going to have a good, strong stance at the top of the hill here to go into their second pick, which is going to be no mod 4. Again, Hong Kong sticking to those strong suits. Less mechanically oriented maps here, something that they're going to have a little bit of an easier time against Turkey. And just to just to touch on overall how that map went, it's it's what we talk about with Hong Kong when we talk about these early stage rosters. Hong Kong has so many players that are known for being extremely strong early stage, for being very consistent, and that's how you get that overall higher team score. Even if you have that late stage scaling, if you're not able to consistently put up four solid scores in the early stage, it's not going to matter. And that's the ability that Hong Kong has here. It makes them very scary in round of 32, round of 16 matchups, even against some of the higher seeded teams that we'll see them against next weekend. So, Turkey definitely has to be scared of this map, though. Be with you by F. Robbie. Uh, 
Altai custom mapping this for the Ocean World Cup this year. It's a very, very slider focused tech map, uh, much more so than the qualifiers tech pick. Uh, this is really focused on the slider velocity. There's even some slider ticks on some of these longer sliders that really force you to fully aim the slider, fully follow the sliders, and that is the name of the game of this map. And when you have players on the side of Hong Kong that are known for their tech scores that have extremely good finger control and aim control, it makes it a very scary roster to play tech maps against for any team, let alone Turkey, who did have a tougher time on the more tech-focused, more control-focused maps than qualifiers. Yeah, Turkey is definitely one of those teams where you kind of dub them a mechanics team. I think that's what their strong point is, and unfortunately, they don't have much outside of that in terms of more specialized skill sets or gimmick skill sets um, that are more required for a Nomad 4. And again, despite all of Hong Kong's roster switches away from a roster that was so unbelievably strong on maps like this, I think they may have potentially even put together a roster this year that was stronger than previous years on maps like this. I mean, A21 has made significant impact improvements in what he's good at. We've got MCY4 coming in this year as well to join the roster, which is massive for them here. But I don't think this is out of the question for Turkey. I think on these early stage Nomad 4s, there is always that one point where you can just mess something up so simple, um, something that you, you know, maybe have never even missed before. And I guess, you know, in match is always the, there's always a first for everything. And unfortunately in match is generally when that tends to happen. But um, I think with the way that uh, Hong Kong has been playing today. I wouldn't expect to see um, anything of that sort from them, but we'll get that quick uh, team switch right here. We'll get all the players situated, and we will officially get into the Nomad 4 here. Interested, again, to see how Turkey holds up against Hong Kong on this map. I don't think anyone is really questioning whether or not Hong Kong is going to uh, win this, I guess, based on their, their track records thus far, but um, you know, we could be surprised by uh, bigger things. Yeah, for sure. We did see a pop-off from Shinkiro on the qualifiers tech map as well, so looking for him to really pop off here in the round of 32. He was a player who scored them that 880k on the Mod 4 and qualifiers that actually got them the majority of their team score almost uh, only 2.2 million for Turkey during that qualifiers run, so uh, she could be doing a lot of the work there for that team. And if we see an underperformance from Hong Kong, an overperformance from Turkey, it's definitely possible. We do see an early miss come out from Zephyrex at the start of the map. But these sliders are really what you're talking about when <laughs> uh, when we were talking about, hey, this map is really slider focused. We weren't lying. Uh, all of this map is basically <laughs> focused on can you follow the sliders? Can you lead correctly when you've got slider bodies obstructing your field of view? Uh, and neither of these teams having too much trouble with it, but these super fast sliders, Shiraha Yuki, A21, and Misumena, all breaking on them at the same time. Those are where you have to follow them because of the slider ticks, and the slider velocity is just so high at that part. And it's actually now a slight combo advantage for Turkey, but there goes Zephyrex's combo. And now it's back on the other foot again, Hong Kong, with a slight combo lead. Two full combos to two right now. Dragbit 3, MCY4, Chemist, and Shinkiro all holding those FCs. Strong on the side of Hong Kong, their accuracy is making a difference once again. High 98% accuracy basically for the entire team. Turkey not too far behind, but again, some of those bigger combos on their team not with massive accuracy. Shinkiro trying to make something happen as Dragbit finds a break. It's not going to be massive, but it is enough to start making that score go back to the side of Turkey right here. They have those two combos in Kingston Shinkiro, but they need to hold. And there goes MCY4. That's exactly what Turkey needs right there. No oh, full combos left for Hong Kong. This is just massive for Turkey. There goes Chemist, though. It's only Shinkiro. That's the member who popped off in qualifiers doing it once again here for Hong Kong. Or for Turkey, excuse me. Is it, it going to be enough, though? Enough. Oh, it's so close at the ending here. Oh, Mr. Mina finds a break. That might be it. Oh, no. Oh, man. Oh. Those breaks from Misumena and Chemist right at the end of the map. Shinkiro is actually able to hold on to the full combo. There's no FCs for Hong Kong, 
But again, it goes back to what we were talking about with Hong Kong, this early stage roster. None of these members below 600K. In fact, every member between <laughs> 630 and 660K. That's what you'd call consistency for this Hong Kong team, man. And that's what puts them over those lower scores for Turkey. And Misu Mena having a ton of trouble with this pick, unfortunately. And Chemist just not able to hold on quite long enough at the end of the map. So despite the pop-offs, it does just barely go over to Hong Kong. Oh, Hong Kong just barely pulling that one out there. Shinkiro almost the, the, the maker of worlds there for them. But that was so unfortunate right at the ending. That score lead just so close. And, you know, you can't make it work every time, unfortunately. But it was the closest they were going to come, I think, on a Hong Kong pick. Uh, I don't know where they're going to run now. Maybe they'll start to look towards um, that DT. Sometimes no mod 1 is that good uh, breakout point for teams that are mechanically oriented here. You know, we mentioned that last map. Uh, very slider heavy. Uh, the ratio of circles to sliders in that map is 344 to 247 for circles to sliders. So, generally, in, <laughs> that's, in maps, that's pretty high. You, you don't see maps that are that close. Um, I don't. I, I, I guess you can pull up like any other map in the game, and generally sliders to circles, unless it is very slider heavy. I'd say is maybe a two to one ratio, and you know this kind of pushes well past that. So. They are going to end up going for the Nomad 1 on the side of Turkey. They're going to try it out. The Mechanics team, I think they're going to trust in that aim and consistency that they have. And I think it's going to be a good route for them today. Surprised we haven't seen more of Heyroni on their picks today. But maybe he's kind of sitting to the back burner here. We do have Gil Raynan for Turkey on this one, which I believe is a very good player you want to have in for a Nomad 1 on this team. But Misumina, really that new player staying in for most maps for Turkey today. Misumina has been in for a lot of maps, I think for good reason. They had a very strong qualifiers run. I think the only map where they really struggled was hitting one in the qualifiers, but their, their overall performance so far in the World Cup has been very, very solid, particularly on these mechanic sticks. 99.54% full combo on Nomad 1 in qualifiers for Misumena from Turkey. So absolutely not surprising that they do pick this up. Even on run 2, which I believe is the run that counted for them, Misumena putting up 840k alongside Raikaho with a 920k, Gilran with a 740k, and Eggmembaserms on a 616k. Well, interested to see Shinkiro in for this one, actually. Um, given that Shinkiro did not play Nomad 1 in either of their runs during the qualifiers. So maybe just, you know, a matter of map preference or better practice this week for some of the members over others. But uh, overall, a very solid lineup on Nomad 1 for Turkey. But, uh, you know, you can talk about the Nomad 1 run for Turkey. Well, Hong Kong had 3.4 million team score. Dragbit 3, A21, and Shiraha Yuki. Extremely solid players on this sort of map. All incredibly good aim players and Tira as well as a very very consistent tournament player across a wide variety of skills especially early on here in round of 32 I definitely have to give credit to this Hong Kong roster this is a scary team to face <laughs> on Nomad 1. I think uh, having played against quite a few of these players in in other tournaments and matches before I don't think I could agree with you more this is a ridiculously scary Nomad 1 roster that they have put up right now. Dragbit unfortunately with a cursor slip on that slider right there you saw it he hit the slider right down and it just slipped off so the uh, lost the slider ball they're gonna find an early break Shirai Yuki's gonna go down as well, but Tiran A21, two players I think that we expected to perform well on this Nomad 1. Gonna be trying to hold it down for Hong Kong. Score lead's gonna stay on the side of Turkey, but it is only three FCs to two right now. Shinkiro has recovered from that early break. This is a very comfortable map. You can't really expect to see um, any consistent combos on a Nomad 1 ever, but at 185 BPM and a CS 3.8, I guess this is about as comfortable as you're going to get for, you know, Nomad 1 style maps here. Raikaho doing exactly what we kind of expect him to right now. Does finally drop 100. But Misumena, again, continuously putting up that performance in Gilrain as well. Maybe putting that triple FC here. Shinkiro with just that early break is, you know, 
basically a fourth FC compared to the combos we have on Hong Kong, so we need to see some breaks from Turkey for this to flip back soon. But not from Tira. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not the breaks for Turkey coming through. It's more breaks for Hong Kong. Tira just not able to hold on. And that's a break halfway through the map for Tira as well. Just about the worst place you can try and reset your combo here. It does a big number to your score. There goes Drag, but three as well as a second break for Tira right in a row. It's only 821 able to hold on to the FC for Hong Kong. Still three FCs, never mind two now for Turkey as we find a miss from Gilrain. Raikaho and Misumina still holding on to their FCs. And Shinkiro with that reverse choke still on a very solid overall combo. So Shiraha Yuki's supporting combo not quite doing enough to offset that extra score from Shinkiro. And that's where that 400k score lead is coming from is basically an extra full combo for this Turkey squad. Really is Shinkiro again, you know, negligible difference in that combo right here. 100 um, at that. A21, the only FC up on Hong Kong right now, and Raikoho is effectively eliminating any chance of that doing anything with the higher accuracy as well. So you either have Shinkiro or Misumina take your pick on uh, who is basically bonus combo right now for Turkey, one or the other. And, uh, you know. When you're Hong Kong and this, it, it's it's no mud one. Unfortunately, anything can happen here. And you know, you saw the breaks from Dragbit Tira with the unfortunate over aim as well. And you know, anything on these no mud ones can happen. You see breaks, you know, from from round of 32 all the way to grand finals on just unfortunate, stupid stuff and no mud ones. And uh, looks like it's gonna go the way of Turkey. We, we said that they were this mechanics oriented team and that this was a smart pick from them here uh, out of all the options that they had left. And it looks like they knew that it was too with this two man performance here. Shinkiro will find the break into the ending, but regardless, Raikoho with 1 million plus and Misumina not gonna be too far behind. And another confident point from Turkey here again a little bit closer than what the Hong Kong ones have been despite this the, the match has actually been close as a whole um you know you've had two picks around 500,000 score difference in favor of Turkey for them to win and then that one that Turkey lost just by under 40,000 so they're hanging right in this with Hong Kong but they're gonna have to be careful after this one now as Hong Kong has their own pick to force this to match point finally and that's the point Turkey's got to be careful for this this is definitely as a as a spectator as a caster how you want these middle seed versus middle seed matchups to go it's just about as close as it gets like you said between these two teams right now uh far closer than what we saw from south korea and ukraine where south korea really put on the clinic and showed that last year is not going to play into their minds but uh this type of map now for hong kong i think is a very very good pick as well uh, next to it to Kangan Wonderland by various artists instead of the long <laughs> list of VTuber names. Yep. Uh, is now the pick up here. Low approach rate hidden, air rate hidden here for these members. And if you know anything about the players that are in right now, you know they're all very solid on low approach rate hidden. I am slightly surprised to see A21 in over some of the other members for Hong Kong that I know are extremely solid low approach rate reading players. Especially when A21 did not play low approach rate reading in the qualifying round, but definitely still a very capable player on this type of map, so still not all that surprising to see him in, despite you know, a couple other members that you could make an argument for. Yeah, not half bad as a roster from Hong Kong. I think anything that can slip A21 in for is going to be a map that uh, at least he knows he's confident for. He's, I, I think, you know, A21 is the closest player that Hong Kong can kind of put up as that um, all-rounder carry player that they have now, especially losing people like uh, Denier and Chaos Blitz from previous years. They really need someone to step up and fill those shoes. And uh, A21, I think, is going to be... Uh, by far the best player that they're gonna kind of put up into that spot so I, I think regardless of whether or not he's the strongest uh reading player on the roster or you know for these hidden two style maps um especially in a round of 32 stage i think even players that aren't necessarily comfortable on stuff like this or have it as their main skill set can kind of fill the shoes of some players who you know maybe fill the reading category a little bit more these you know these round of 32 early stage uh, ar8 maps tend to be less on the reading side in terms of difficulty but um not easy by any means a21 is gonna try and make the difference here but a strong turkey roster on this as well turkey not to be shied away from on these ar8 maps i think we'll see some accuracy drops as previous but um, 
a lot of aim oriented uh, AR8 this this round. Yeah, the near you mentioned aim. it's uh, you mentioned it's less so the reading difficulty and more so the awkward aim. We saw all of that grid snapping patterning near the start. We still see a lot of awkward aim in the square jumps in this map. Zephyrx and Shinkiro in particular having a lot of trouble with that on the Turkey roster. Chemist and Eggmemsterns also in for this map. Not really any surprises there. They are probably the best reading players on the team for both of them. Eggmemsterns though having a little bit of trouble with some of the more aim focused patterns. That linear styling again. Really tough to be snappy on, which is what you really want to be when you're looking at approach rate eight hidden. And Chemist now dropping on those wide angle jumps, the sort of polygonal patterning that you get in the key eye times of this map. But meanwhile, four full combos still intact for Hong Kong. This is just about as dominant as it gets. And uh, I think a lot of people were questioning why Minecraft 570 is on the Hong Kong roster. Well, this is why he's still hanging in there with all of the other fantastic players on this team. Still on the FC, no problems here on his own skill set, which is that low approach rate and reading those more gimmicky maps that he is so comfortable on. This is, I mean, you could just take a look at the Hong Kong roster as a whole right now. We've talked about them having high accuracy on maps before. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of like, the, oh, oh, okay, never mind, Minecraft 570. Not too happy about that miss. He's still going to be above 99, though. A21 is actually going to be the, the second one to drop below that 99% accuracy point. He is going to find a miss here. Uh, unfortunately for Turkey, all the misses from Hong Kong right now are for not. The, their combos earlier at the map being dropped so frequently are really going to put them in the rear here. They got a million point difference to make up with. Only a quarter of the map left to go, and two FCs still being held on Hong Kong. There's not really much that you're going to be able to uh, do about that at this point. These square patterns, just too easy to find misses on Hong Kong. Gonna again prove to us where their skill set lies. Um, you know, Turkey is a strong mechanically oriented team, but when you crank that AR all the way down to eight, uh, make the circles a little bit bigger, make it feel a little bit more dense, you put in these awkward, you know, linear aim patterns and the squares and you know, that mechanic starts to fall apart a little bit. It starts to matter a little bit less. Hong Kong again, you know, year after year, despite roster changes, continuously comes back and shows us that they are a very strong reading team. And despite those two breaks from Minecraft 570 and A21, Shirahayuki Yuki and Dragbit 3 pulling out some very nice accuracy scores. Dragbit with 1-100, 150. Shiraha Yuki with 6 100s. That is match point for Hong Kong now. And I think, again, it speaks to the consistency of this Hong Kong roster at low star rating that even when they do find misses on two members, it's still, you know, 640k for Minecraft 570, 666k for A21. Even on the members who do find those misses, they've still got relatively high scores on each individual member. Couple that with the two full combos for Dragon 3 and Shiraha Yuki, and yeah, you have a very scary team score overall. Chemist with a very solid score on Team Turkey, by the way, not to downplay the performance there. 718k, only one miss, and four 100s. Very, very solid accuracy for him. But unfortunately, not the consistent team score to back that up from the rest of that Team Turkey roster. And now, it said match point for Hong Kong. It is Turkey's next pick. They do have one more chance to try and earn themselves a point, but they have to win the next pick from Hong Kong alongside their own if they want to try and force this tiebreaker. Well, if there was ever a time for it to happen in this uh, middle seeded matchup here, I think round of 32 is the point where we could see it, unfortunately, for Turkey. The only pick of Hong Kong's thus far that they have even come kind of remotely close on was that Nomad 4 pick, and there's not much left like that unless they really go the route of something like Nomad 3 if you really want to stick to that kind of flow aim, but the slider, you know, heaviness is, is completely down from what you would have there. Turkey's going to go for the double time 3. I think this is a good pick for them in order to get, you know, maybe that third point on the board here, but again, they still have their work cut out for them on Hong Kong's pick after this, and I think that's going to be the difficult point for them. That's where they're going to need to kind of lock it in um, and try and figure something out there. They have full capability of doing it, but based on the way that Hong Kong has been picking thus far and has been performing on their picks, uh, Turkey's got a long way to go 
you know, seemingly left in this match to possibly force that tiebreaker. I think they have it in them to get this third point here, so I think they'll at the very least get to see that match point potential here uh, for that tiebreaker, but I think we'll have to see how this pans out for them first. Not super high BPM on a DT3, it's AR8, three minutes long, so a longer map, but a little bit more comfortable. Um, the speed, you know, non-speed players are going to be able to work their way through this a little bit more, which I think is what Turkey's going to have to count on here. They have a decent speed roster, but it's not quite enough, I think, to match Hong Kong's early speed roster as an overall team, which is something that, you know, you want to be careful of, especially, again, on a match point. Most certainly. Uh, you need to really be confident in this pick for Turkey. You need to be able to perform very well on it. I think the one thing, though, that makes this pick in particular a little tricky for this roster from Turkey is the fact that it is that lower BPM. It is that more finger control focused pick. It's only 210 BPM. It's really not that fast, even compared to Nomad 5 or Double Time 2 in this pool, let alone objectively speaking. I mean, Hard Rock 1 is also the same BPM. You can see, however, the finger control, the burst requirements in this map still relatively high. The focus definitely on that finger control and burst control in this map compared to uh, something like the other more finger control, or excuse me, more burst focused picks in Nomad 5 and Double Time 2. Uh, the finger control early on, getting the better of both the Memphis Arms and Raikaho actually on the Turkey squad. RLSC with a lot of drops for Hong Kong, but all very early on within the first 150 combo, so really not impacting the overall score that much. These drops, however, from Raikaho and Egg Memphis Arms really damning the score for Turkey down in the overall score and down over 100k now as well. This is not exactly the position Turkey wants to put themselves in at the start of this map here. The score lead is going to fly over to Hong Kong now with two FCs to basically what could be considered almost four now, you know, RLSC just a little bit behind, but Minecraft 570 finding a break is going to open this up for them again just a little bit, but they need to see one or two more breaks from Hong Kong. I don't think they're going to be able to see it into the ending here. We've got this slow slider taking up quite a bit of time and then a pause here before the ending. Unfortunately, Turkey with two of their, you know, I'd say carry players on a map like this not performing the way they want. You know, we say this map isn't super fast, especially with the finger control. 210 BPM is, you know, you, you're going to see Nomad 5s faster than in, in the later stages here. But overall, this finger control just absolutely, I mean, Agamemnesterm's under aiming, Raikaho as well. That just didn't go the way of Turkey, unfortunately. And in a round of 32 matchup against Hong Kong, time and time again, you're going to need to put up that performance. And again, that overall team performance from Hong Kong, absolutely <laughs> disgusting from them on that. Look at that overall team score again, well over uh, 3.4 million, 3.5 million team score from them. And they're going to close out this round of 32 matchup in a 5-2 to two win over Turkey. Hong Kong proving to us that even despite some massive roster changes, they are loading up here and they are going to have just as good of a run as they have had in previous years with this roster here that team performance was something to be reckoned with yeah absolutely i mean that was a very very dominant closeout and once again showing that when it comes to the overall team consistency they are on top of the game right now really solid four-man performances on basically every map from hong kong even when most of their members miss, they're still above six, 700k. It is a very scary team to go up against on any early stage pool. Even next weekend, when they do face off against the winner of Indonesia versus Mexico, I think that they are likely to give the team that they do end up going against a run for their money. Good luck, however, to Turkey in the loser's bracket. They are not out of the tournament yet. They do face off against the loser of that other matchup, Indonesia versus Mexico, next weekend. So good luck to them in that matchup. And that is going to do it for us for now. We are actually going to take about an hour's break. Our next matchup is the United Kingdom versus Singapore, starting at 14 UTC. 